So, good morning in the morning here, my friends. So, and we are here today with X-Plane 11 and the Airbus A321 Neo version. And today we like to talking about a little bit over the hydraulic system. So, I have a cup of coffee there, so better talking here about the system. So, welcome everybody. So, wir machen das heute so ein bisschen in Deutsch-Englisch. So, we are doing it in both languages today here, German and English. I hope so, more or less. So, und wir sprechen heute ein bisschen über die Hydrauliksysteme vom Airbus. So that's all for this. So we open here the hydraulic panel and here we can see we have uh, three hydraulic systems. So we have a green line, we have a blue line and we have a yellow line. So we have three lines, green, blue and gelb. Where are you from? From Germany, my friend. I'm from Germany. <laughs> Welcome here to the flight. So we have uh, three different hydraulic lines. So and uh, the yellow and the green line will be working with the engines. Yes. So, also die grüne und die gelbe Linie werden jeweils von den Triebwerken gesteuert. Das heißt, ohne Triebwerk gibt es hier in der Regel auch keinen Hydraulikdruck. So, the, the yellow and the green one will be uh, working with uh, the engines and without the engines, normally first there is no hydraulic pressure in. So, but we have here an electric pump, here you can see. So, from Canada. No blue. <laughs> no blue. That's different. That's not with the hydraulic system. That is with the TCAS message here. So when everything is green on a TCAS message, then everything is okay. So it has nothing to do with the hydraulic system here. Yes. So it's only the messages here on the TCAS. So, okay. So on the yellow side here, we can see we have an uh, electrical pump. So when uh, the engine lasts here, so we can start electrical pump here on this side to give, uh, to give us uh, pressure uh, for the yellow one. And also for the green one. So between the yellow and the green one, we have the PTU. So that's a, a, a valve and the valve will be open when there will be a difference between the green and the yellow one more as 500 psi so also wenn wir hier einen unterschied haben von mehr als 500 psi öffnet sich hier das ventil und der druck wird ausgeglichen so when there is a difference between the green and the yellow in both directions yes it works in both directions not only from the right to the left also from the left to the right yes so but when we start the engine so wait wait a moment so first let's uh, have a look for the better pushback tool so we like to go out i think so here we must go to this side here And so I set it here now. So, it's cockpit, not so, plan acknowledged. so okay. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Concord. Perfect. Really nice. So okay. When we uh, start the engines here, the uh, PTU will not work 
when first the parking brake is set. So when the parking brake is set, the PTU will not work. Also, when there is only one engine start, the PTU will not work. So it only work when the parking brake is released, no gear pins in, and both engines are started. Then the PTU will be working. So we can see this now when we will start the engines next time. So, but first let's go and do the pushback here and then we will start engines. So we do first the pushback completely. I've got a cockpit, tow is driving up. Oh, we can start one engine before, that's not the problem. Oh no, we do it, we do it later. So why the parking brake? Why the parking brake? So we do, oh, we can do it two times. We do it two times. So first, now the P PTU uh, don't run while the gear pin is in. So when the gear pin is in, it also not works. Yeah, so also when the parking brake is released. So we can check this now. So we check this now when we start the engine. So the beacon light uh, is on, so everything okay. Taxi light is off, bleed is on. Everything okay here on the overhead panel, so no problems. Okay, all At doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Ready to connect, perfect. So now the gear pin comes in normally for the wheel. So let's wait. <laughs> so we wait here for pushback. Ah, uh, plane comes up. Looks pretty nice. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. So I release the parking brake now. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. So we're ready to start engine. So we're starting number two now. Let's go. So engine mode selector start, and we're starting number two. So number two comes up, and we look here at the pressures here now. So now you can see pressures comes up. We're spinning from the engine. So we have 3000 PSI now on the right side, but the PTU is not working. You can see it's not working, no pressure on the green side. Uh, no, it's not a part from Zim Toolkit Pro. It's a, it's a special part. It's a own plug, plug in, better pushback, but it's for free. So now we get the electrical power here from the right side, and also then the blue line will be working with electrical power. So electrical power is there, so the blue line is working now, and we have 3000 psi now also on. The blue line, the green line, nothing at this point. Why? Why the gear pin is in? That's uh, the problem now. So here you can see Operation complete. the disc. Go ahead here. and set the parking brake. The disc is in, and so it's not working. So now I set the parking brake again. Disconnect parking brake is set. Stand by. So I have said before. Also, it's not working when the parking brake is uh, set. So now the parking brake is set and also it's not working all the time. So gear pin comes out now. So we wait that the gear pin comes out. So and let's have a look if it works then or not. Normally not. Wer lenkt das? Ja, der Pushback-Fahrer. Der Pushback-Fahrer lenkt. <laughs> the pushback fahrer lenkt vorne mit dem Vorderrad. 
So. So, wir warten jetzt, wie gesagt, so der Pin ist raus. So we can see the pin is out now. And also, the PTU is not working. So, it's disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand so. signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Uh, hand signal comes from the right. Perfect. We'll see you as the next flight. Pretty nice. So, what will happen now when we release the parking brake? Look at this. At this moment, when we release the parking brake, the PTU will be running. Now you can hear the dog whoop, 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 whoop. So you can see, okay, first, thanks. So now you can hear the uh, PTU is running now. Why we have released the parking brake? It not works with the parking brake. So I set the parking brake again. So parking brake is uh, set. So, no, it's not set. Now it's set. So the parking brake is set and you can see the PTU will not working again. So. Okay. So, habt ihr jetzt gesehen? Also die, Park äh, die PTU läuft auch nicht, wenn die Parkingbremse gesetzt ist. So, okay. Now let's start the number two also. So, number two will be comes up. Now you can hear the parking brake is set, but both engines are, both engine switches on, and then the PTU will also run. And you can hear the dog, yes? You can hear the dog, and uh, they look for different pressure on the green and the yellow side, and the PTU is working. So, now the engines comes up, so it's uh, enough spin now, to get uh, 3000 PSI and the PTU will be stopped. So, also umso schneller das Triebwerk läuft, baut sich natürlich der Druck auf über die Pumpe und wenn wir hier weniger als 500 PSI Differenz haben zwischen grün und gelb, hört die PTU auf zu laufen. PTU will stops. So when there's uh, the, the pressure difference is uh, under 500 psi. So. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Wie, du kannst nicht landen. Warum kannst du denn nicht landen? Natürlich kann man landen. <laughs> Wir landen ja auch heute. So, but today, I, I read the comments also today, but not so, so uh, many as uh, normal. So why are we talking about the pressure system here, the hydraulic system today? So now everything is okay at the start. All three lines are running. So. This is from the left engine, this will be working from the right engine and also we can start here electrical pump for the yellow line and over the PTU it works also for the green line with the electrical pump. So, okay, all these lines, yes, so that's also for safety, so we can fly the plane all times with only one of the lines with only one when only one is working so we can fly the plane sometimes not really nice but we can <laughs> but we can fly it yes <laughs> so it is uh, so okay yes that's the dog when the dog is so the sounds from the PTU is working uh, it looks like a dog. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes, it, it, uh, the sound is like a dog. You know? <laughs> so, uh, so we say the dog is uh, bellen, bellen, bellen. I don't know the, the English now for this. <laughs> so, okay. Ach, du meinst automatisch landen, Mike? Automatisch landen, nicht von Hand. Automatisch. So, okay, das, das ist ein anderes Thema, passt jetzt hier heute nicht unbedingt rein gerade. 
So, okay, we are ready now here first for taxi. So, uh, first let's check here the flight controls now. Hydraulic system becomes later back. Full up, full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral, ruder, full left, full right, neutral, checked. So, okay, the cabin also will be checked. So now here you can see there we say no blue later. So at this moment we have blue and so we have blue. Something is not ready. Yes, something is not ready. So here you can see uh, flaps, uh, speed brakes. Speed brakes is not armed. So here you can see the white ring here. You don't can see the white ring. Now the speed brake is armed. Perfect. So also the flap setting. Here you see flaps. TO config, takeoff config is not set. So we go flaps start position one here. Now it is green also when it flaps is out. Wait a moment. So now the flaps is out, so it's green. So auto brake max. So settings for takeoff is auto brake here to max. So set it to max. Also the blue is gone. So now takeoff config check. So push this button here for takeoff config check. So everything is normal, everything is green, no blue. So ready. So release the parking brake. And uh, let's go now for takeoff runway here. Let's go. So and later we do some special stand in the air here with uh, hydraulic pressure. So, but first let's have a look uh, how, what was the flight level here, I have forgotten the flight level. The flight level is 350, okay, 350, put it in here, so we fly from Kos to uh, Shamechek here today, so in the sun here, I hope so. <lacht> ja, das können wir sicherlich mal testen, aber wahrscheinlich jetzt nicht bei dem Flug. Ja, vielleicht am Ende mal gucken, mal gucken, mal gucken, ob wir es am Ende testen. Ich weiß noch nicht. So, today I have uh, load here the uh, beta version from Xplain, Xplain 11.5.1. So, and I think so, there will be a, a frame push, a frame push here with uh, X-Plane 5.1. More frames here now today with very high settings here and the Vulkan version is running. So, okay, line up. So we ready, let's switch lights on here for the takeoff and then we will do something special in the air later after takeoff uh, after engine start we have forgotten the bleed off master off flaps one engine mode select on normal ruder trim was reset speed brakes uh, retracted and aren't pitch trim comes up to 0.4 I hope so. Yes, 0 0.4, perfect. So now everything is ready here for the takeoff. So let's go. Here we go. What? Braxas? Where is Braxa? Braxas ist, äh, das ist nur an, an dem Airport heißt der Braxas. Ja, das ist nicht überall das gleiche hier. So, okay, let's take off now first. Here we go. Both ends comes up, breaks off. And flex start, man flex, SAS, runway. Let's go. We have no call out here at this moment. I must restart the Lua script here. 
we want. I rotate. Here we go. So positive climb, gear comes up. So let's restart the lure. Where is fly with lure here? So gear is up. Lights off. Our pilot one is going on. Here we go. <laughs> so that's a that is a tool, yes. So XP realistic, it works absolutely nice and fantastic. I love this tool. So you get get more more feeling like a real one. Are in the plane there? It's normal at the start here. You sit like this here. It's absolutely normal. So it works. <laughs> so flap zero. Flaps goes to zero. Oh, TKS was standby, sorry. So, TKS is on. Flaps are zero. Everything looks pretty nice. No problem. So, we will pass 5,000 feet here next time. Bow goes to standard. And we have, an, we have a rival here, the cruise level. So, we do something again with uh, the hydraulic pressure here. Guten Flug, Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Five hour flight. Why? <laughs> Why I like to do a five hour flight, my friend? I don't like a five hour flight. So, Baro goes to uh, standard, cross checked, standard also, perfect, that looks really nice. So now we wait here for flight level 1,100 uh, to switch the lights off. So here that's our beauty A321 Neo version with the layout LAAP engine. So we're passing 9,000 feet at this moment. So what has happened here with my x program here? Let's have a look here. I hear nothing now. So I start this and shake it out now here. Shake it out. So he goes to Martina Radar Center. Welcome. Lift on a 66 with you here on flight level 100 now. Lights off. So, flight level 100, the lights going off. And also at this position here, we go to our flight management system here. Select the secondary flight plan and make a copy from the current flight plan now. So it goes back here to the normal flight plan and finished first. Finished! Uh, the flight time. Flight time will be around about 1 hour and uh, 40 minutes. So what happened here with my TCAS, uh, not the TCAS with uh, x -Chatter program here. Something is wrong here, I think so. So normally that works with this one. So let's check it out. This one. Uh, 
final five minutes to conduct control. One, two, six, decimal one. One, two, six, decimal one, final five minutes. Okay, I hope it works now. Perfect. Now we have uh, ADC. So 10,000 feet, so seatbelt size off, so you can go to the tow lab now, yeah, no problem. What? Yarak plane? Is that the Yarak plane? No, it's a Tolis. It's a Tolis A321. Well, I think, yes, I hope so, that we have no problems here at the flight here today. Brazil, yes, welcome from Brazil, my friend. Enjoy here the flight. So, back inside the cockpit here. So, cruise level will be 35,000 feet here today. So we can look, uh, look here on the program page and uh, then it goes to the report page. And here we can see the top of descent. We will arrive here at uh, 1246 and 521 miles. And uh, our destination at 1309. But uh, it will be changed a little bit when we have a uh, choice the runway there, which runway we need. So it will be a little bit different then. Fly me to Thailand. Dirk, es gibt Steak. Es gibt Steak heute. No, that's not a flight simulator 2020. That's X-Plane 11 here today. So we fly with X-Plane 11 here. Uh, 11 here. Really nice flight simulator. So it is a really flight simulator. It's not a landscape simulation here. It's a flight simulator. What is this here? I think it's a bug here. So, but okay, I use I use uh, the beta version. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not a bug here. It's a. Uh, from the sun here. Okay, now I see it. From the sunlight here on the water. It's, it's not so nice as uh, Microsoft. Enjoy, yes, also enjoy the flight. Nobody in here. <laughs> so it's not simulated that uh, everyone is in, inside the plane here, yes? So, but here you can see inside the plane, yes? It's not uh, like a Microsoft standard A320. So there is no cabin there, no cabin view, nothing. <laughs> not really.
the label and it's a, that's a, a neo engine here so it's from the company so check it by google it's a cfm so check it by by google for for what it is i don't know i am the pilot i fly the plane i'm not the construction here <laughs> So I have no idea about this. I fly the plane. Wir haben sich alle versteckt. Jawohl. Wir sitzen alle im Cockpit. So when we have uh, arrival here, our cruise level, we do some special things there with the hydraulic system. So I show you something about this, how it works or not. So and I hope we will not crash then. <laughs> uh, but I think so in the Tolis one here, it's really nice simulated uh, so that everything will be working. I hope so. I hope so. So, but it's the same, every time it's the same here with Captain Rodolfo. So we do everything live here and uh, so it could be it works and sometimes it could be also it not works, yes. And uh, we get problems here and uh, we crashed or the system will be crashed or I don't know what. So everything is possible here by the Captain Rodolfo. Why I do everything live, yes. I not sit at home and do it for five times here and then I look what is the best one and uh, then I, I do only the best one. I use only the best one and put it to, to the YouTube channel or, or to the Facebook channel or something else like this. No, we do everything live here and so it, it could be a nice flight, it could be a bad flight, it could be that the system will be broken here, it could be the computer will be... Uh, crashed here or the, the, the program will crash. I don't know. Everything everything is possible here at this flight here. That's normal here. That's absolutely normal. So it works. So but the frames absolute fantastic frames here with explain eleven here and the beta version I use here eleven point five one release one. I hope we will not crash with them. So why it is the beta version? <laughs> From Frankfurt to Düsseldorf. From Frankfurt to Düsseldorf. Well, it's a short flight here, my friend. There was really a flight from Frankfurt to Düsseldorf? Not really. Normally there, I think so. Normally there's no flight from Frankfurt to Düsseldorf. It's a really short distance. It's only 200 kilometers. Yes, normally no plane flight is this this one. Not really. The beluga. Yeah, but there is no beluga here. I have no beluga here to fly at the simulation here. So when there will be, when there will be a beluga, I will fly. No problem. I do it. But there is nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I never like to, to buy a, a cockpit. <laughs> Not really. So I have no idea. So which flight level we are here now? Let's have a check. So okay, here yeah, let's check it out. So we will arrive here the flight level at uh, Dopus, at Dopus Waypoint. So here we can see, and uh, after we have arrival here, our flight level. So we will do again something special here with uh, with the hydraulic systems, how it works and everything like this. So we switch off some 
hydraulic pumps here and uh, we'll have a look how it works then or not what we can do can we put the gears down or not we will look everything what will be happened then Really? Mike, really? Halt <laughs> kein Captain Rudolf vor Burger mehr. <laughs> Ja, mit einer Propellermaschine, oder wie? Äh, wirklich mit dem Airbus, mit dem 319er, 200 Kilometer? Äh, not sure, ja. Yeah. So, okay, next, here we will arrive here at the top of this hand, so wait a little bit, my friends. And uh, then we do some special here with this aircraft. So that we have an effect here on uh, the pressure side, so we don't need uh, to switch off the engine. So we can do this, but we don't need to switch off the engine. So it's enough when we switch off uh, the electrical, so that the pump will be disabled. So, and then we will have an effect here on the hydraulic systems. And also on the steering, then you will see when we lost all the pressures here from the hydraulic systems, we will lost also the autopilot then. Yes? Auto 4 XP, not at this place here, yes? Not Auto 4 XP is not on this place here and also in uh, Shamal Shake not. So I have delete all my Auto 4 XP parts. Uh, in front I have installed the Microsoft Flight Simulator. But it was a fault, yes, <laughs> really. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I like here. It's uh, the wrong. This one I like to start. <laughs> so, okay, I have a uh, connect now here to my Zim Toolkit Pro uh, and I like to put in the destination from Shamal Shake. It is uh, HESH, HESH, and enter. So I get here the metadata now. The wind is coming from 0 40, from 40. So it's from east. So we will go down here on, I think the runway is around about the 19th. So I don't know, I'm not sure. So we have arrived at the cruise level now first, my friends. So how many miles we have to go to destination? 565. So and uh, at this moment here we are over the sea, yes. <laughs> so it is sea level here. So, <laughs> so it must work. So I hope everything will be working. So okay, first let's have a look what will be happen when we switch off here now the uh, hydraulic from uh, the yellow line here, yes? 
So we go up here to the overhead panel and switch off to hydraulic. So now you can see we get a message first. And uh, at this moment, the PTU will be working now. So when we have uh, more as 500 PSI difference between the green and the yellow one, the PTU will be working and push the pressure from the green one to the yellow one. So you can see that will be working. So all three systems have uh, power now and all three systems are working. So it's no problem when, uh, when we have uh, only pressure now on uh, this system. All you, we can fly the plane with only one line of them that's working. So, okay, now you can see it will be working, no problems here with uh, uh, fall out here, the uh, yellow line, yes? So, but we have uh, problems later. So I show you later what we have for problems with the Tika system. So, okay, now I switch on again the number two. Uh, the number two, yes. So, okay, number two is on again. So we have the pressure back here from this side. So now I switch off the other one. So now we get a message again and the PTU will working now from the right side to the left side. Here you can see at this moment we will uh, have more as 500 PSI difference. The PTU will be working, yes? So everything okay. So at this moment everything also is okay with our uh, with our autopilot, yes? The autopilot will be working at this moment, no problem. So, but now, let's check out now what will be happen when the yellow will be going off now. So, now we have no pressure on the right and also on the left side. So, at this moment here, you can see we have much problems now. Why? The autopilot is going off. The autopilot is going off and is not working. So at this moment we can switch on here the electrical pump. And at this we will get pressure back now. We will get pressure back. But it's a small pump. Yes? It's not so so many as uh, with, with the engines. Yes. So I will go a little bit slower now so that we can do something special again with uh, So I goes back here to 140 or 45 So we can steering but the steering now is very terrible now here yes it works not so nice as normal by the aircraft, yes? It's completely different here. And uh, you can see, uh, I'm not, not really. So, but it's working, but there is a problem here, yes? There is a problem. Not working as normal here at this moment. So we have uh, under 260 uh, knots here now. So check out, we can switch off the gears here, yes? So let's have a look here. So we have only the electrical pump here now. Only the electrical pump is working. And so check out, the gear comes down. So, but you can see the gear comes down, but slow, yes? Really, really slow with the electrical pump here only. So the gear is working here by the green line. The gear is only working here by the green line. And you can see the pressure from the green line when you push down here the uh, gears it's really really low yes it needs much much pressure here for the gears but the gears comes down but it's really 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 slow yes you can see it so we put the gear back in here i hope so but it goes really really slow yes so we goes back now the steering also is terrible at this time here. Terrible. 
so okay let's go back here and uh, switch on the pressure now again both pumps on and here the pressure is back now and also at this moment the gear comes in no problem so the gear is in again so uh, we're not so fast I hope so I don't know let's have a look okay 160 now but you can see at this moment everything is working again but the steering here the steering is completely stupid it not works really nice here and also I don't can switch on the autopilot now so the pressure is back but we have a fault in the system now yes so we have a fault in the system so the rut is comes up only uh, when we have no electrical power also so but okay now let's see we have a problem here now in our in our system here and it's not working really nice so and here you can see the autopilot one we don't can use autopilot two also not it's not working so it's not working why we have problems and fouls here in our system so we like to clear clear all the problems now recall and here we can see we have problems again you don't can you don't can delete on the tkes here the problems yes so that it works again it will be not working so here you can push 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 it not working also the steering here is absolutely terrible at this moment it works not pretty nice here it works not really pretty nice here it's absolutely terrible steering so what we can do now that's the question <laughs> what we can do so what we can do now the question is what we can do so what we must do we must restart some computers now that will be uh, important here for the steering yes so here also you can see we have problems here x x x there is something wrong here in the system so we have to restart uh, the systems what is uh, for steering here yes so we goes up here now to the overhead panel so we like to beginning now with the elec one system so switch it off and you switch it again on so not all together yes wait wait that it works again switch on elec two switch it on again wait that it working select one also off and on select two also off and restart select three also off and restart and flock one off restart also flock two off and on also so now we have restart all the systems here and uh, it must be working now the fault must be gone and now here you can see we can switch on the autopilot again and the autopilot is working now no problems everything is green make a recall here on the systems everything is working perfect so that was problems here with hydraulic system but now you can see everything is working again no problems everything is fine and we can use everything so i hope that was interesting for you <laughs> so okay perfect here we are So, Felipe. So, yes, we must reset the system. And uh, you reset the system when you switch off the computers and uh, switch it on again. Yes, but not all together. <laughs> yes, that's not a really nice idea. So, all the time have a look that uh, one is will be working. Yes. So, okay. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> so, how many miles here now we have to go to Sham? 
492. So, okay, let's uh, have a look uh, for our descent here. So we put in some information. So it's a little bit early, but uh, we do it now. So we goes down. Ah, now we use the secondary, the secondary flight plan now for this. So go to the secondary flight plan. So remember, remember we have uh, do a copy after we have arrived at the flight level 100. After them and everything was okay inside the cockpit, lights off, blah, blah, blah. We may have to make a copy from the current flight plan. So now we will change something. So we will change our approach and we like to, cha uh, to choose the runway now. So we go on the secondary flight plan here now on the white. So now we go here to our final destination arrival. And so then now we have a look where we like to come down. So the wind is coming from uh, ah, 040. So we like to go down also on the 04 left. ILS 04 left. So I don't know we have... Uh, I have not load. So wait, wait. I load my Navigraph page first. Uh, put the flight plan in and let's have a look here on stars from our final destination so we like to go down on the zero for uh, left so that will be ILS here it is so and normally here we comes down over the star Evood 1 E, Evut 1 E, A, B, C, D, it's not here, it's not in here, I don't know why, ah, e, no, not, Evut, ah, Evut, 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 A, B, C, D, but E we have not. So, okay, I chose this one. I'm not sure. So I said return and insert. So, but now, at this moment, everything is white here. You can see it's uh, the white color. So it's not active, yes? It's not active, it's inactive. <laughs> so, Okay, uh, now we will have a look here on the flight plan. Zoom level back and switch forward now. So now we have a white line here. I make it a little bit uh, bigger here. You can see it better. So we have a white and a green line. But at this moment, the same. The same way on the white and on the green line. So it's no different. But here at this, this point, at this point you can see we have different. So we have one green line here and the white line here. The white line is our secondary flight plan here. So that's uh, the change now here. So let's have a look here at our change. So here we come back here to Inmes, then uh, next waypoint here. And then we turn left and comes down to our finally zero four left. So the flight plan looks pretty nice here now everything looks perfect and it's okay and when you mean everything is okay and it works so it goes back here to the secondary flight plan and then here you have uh, the button activate the secondary yes activate the secondary so that's the point where we do uh, the white one the white one will be our active flight plan and the green one will be gone, yes? So at this moment where we push here this button, this one will be delete and this one will be active now. So let's have a look, it works. So push the button here. So now, boom, we have a new flight plan in, everything is stable all the time, nothing will be happened here without our flight plan before. We push the button and now here you can see the new flight plan is in, 
now it's green what uh, was white before and it looks everything really nice no problems so but we can check this before we make it active yes before we make the flight plan active we can check that everything is working with the flight plan so okay that was the second air flight plan so now we have used the second air flight plan also really nice perfect so we fly to uh, Shamil Sheikh here today to Shamil Sheikh So, okay, now uh, let's talk about everything again in uh, German language. So, I, I remember, I uh, repeat, I repeat everything in German language now from before with the hydraulic system. So, gut, wir haben also vorhin im Flug uh, die Hydrauliksysteme, wenn wir die Pumpen ausgeschaltet, das wäre jetzt das gleiche, wenn... Uh, die Triebwerke ausfallen, rechts oder links, dann fällt ja auch die, Hydraulik, die hydraulische Pumpe aus. Das haben wir vorhin gemacht und wir waren unter äh, oder bei ungefähr 240 Knoten. Das heißt, wenn wir schneller fliegen als 240 Knoten, sollten wir eigentlich durch das Windmilling der Turbine weiterhin noch unseren Hydraulikdruck haben, ja, natürlich nicht, wenn wir die Pumpe ausschalten. Wenn wir die Pumpe oder die Elektrik ausschalten, wie wir das gerade eben gemacht haben, ist das natürlich nicht der Fall. So, wenn wir aber einfach das Triebwerk ausschalten, behalten wir den, den, den äh, Druck. Das werden wir jetzt gleich noch mal machen. Das werden wir jetzt gleich einfach noch mal. Wir haben ja noch Zeit. Das werde ich jetzt noch mal zeigen. So, okay, we do uh, something special now again. So with the pressure with the pressure here my friends so let's have a look so before by the first by the first step yes by the first step we have switch off here the electrical here from the pump and then we will last directly here uh, the pressure yes so but when we have an engine fallout when we have an engine fallout then it is different yes so let's check it out now. So at this moment we will switch off the engine number one now. Yes, we switch it off. Number one is off. So engine number one now is off. So we fly at this moment with one engine. Yes. So you can hear the number one goes off and we fly with one engine at this moment yes so that's not so really important now here would we would we switch here on and off and everything like this so, but okay, now you can see we have switched off one engine here and what has happened with the pressure? So, what has happened with the pressure here now? So, we have lost the engine here, number one, but the pressure is there. We have pressure, 3000 psi, no problems, without engine. Why? So, why we have pressure now? So, it is easy, yes? So, we are on speed and we have the windmilling here. We have the windmilling from uh, the engine. So, the engine will be spin around about the wind what comes in. So, and the wind comes in and uh, the, the engine will be running. And so, we have the pressure. So, without engine, now we have pressure. No problem here, it works. It works. It will be not working when we lost speed. Yes? So, 
So when we will lost speed here, so there will be one point, then it's not working. So it's not, uh, we must do it uh, on the ground more. So it's not working here on the air. We are too fast here at this moment. Uh, so we must do it on the ground. So normally it will be, so when we under around about uh, 240 knots, then we will last the pressure here. Under 240 not near the ground yes not here in the air near the ground we will lost the pressure so okay but now let's uh, restart the engine number one here so for our so we start the ABU So what happened now? Uh, okay, wait, switch on here. Uh, feed also. Engine number one is shutting down. Yes, I know this. So, start the APU. So when you fly with one engine, you have to go here in the flex position now. Yes, go in the flex position with the one engine what will be working. So when not here, you will get a message here. You can see. So now I goes forward with the with the thrust lever, and so it will be gone. Everything okay. So, okay, we wait now again here for the APU, so APU is running, so switch on, and now let's start number one again, so let's starting number one, I hope it works. Yes, number one comes up, looks pretty nice. So levels back. A normal position, the climb frost now. Ah, come on, engine is there. Yes, I hope so, engine is there. Power up. If you bleed foul, it's working. Everything is okay, so we can switch it off. And we goes back here to normal Tikas. Also working. And now the autopilot is also working again. So, okay, at this point here, everything is okay. Everything is normal. All systems are working now. Okay, we have not switched on the weather. I do it now. Forgotten. But we have fine weather here, no problems. So, okay, that's working now again. So, thanks for everything. <laughs> 
So plane is working. But something is not working that's uh, with our... So we're too slow here at this moment. I don't know why, but we're too slow. So is something out? What has happened? Something is wrong here. Something we have uh, lost here, I think so. With our auto flight control, trust lever is off. So the trust lever, so... Sometimes I must also look uh, in the manual. <laughs> so which one is for trust? Okay, it looks, it looks so that it works now again. Uh, check it out. Oh, not really. Not really. So some problems here with the system. Lecker Pizza aus dem Ofen. Ja, wunderbar. Wunderbar. Uh, trust not on flex. No, it's back here to the climb frost position while both engines are running. So that's not a problem. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba -ba. Papa, other pins, we brakes normal. Run the file, speed communication, roll the bow, bow, wind sharing. Flat one. Okay, I think now it's working, huh? Come on. Come on, it's okay, oh. Okay, I think now now it's work again. Now it will be working, no problems. Speed is okay, uh, no problem. So, recall. Yes. Okay, everything is safe. Everything is safe, working now. Ja, Udo, ich mache nachher auch noch mal einen Flug. Ja, auf jeden Fall. Später machen wir noch mal einen Flug. Uh, trust uh, must only on flash when you have only one engine. But now we have restart and uh, both engines are running. So everything is okay now. Hi from Irland, welcome! No, uh, uh, later. Yeah, later could be the Microsoft Flight Simulator again, yes. Later could be we fly with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And... Uh, 
I like to say we we do it with the with the stock one on the Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it not works. Yes, it not works like the Tolis one here. It's completely different, my friends. Kerbal, Raketensimulation. Nein, kenn ich nicht. Nein, 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 kenn ich nicht. I don't know. I don't know this game. I don't know. Rocket simulation. I don't know. Not really. So, okay. Now everything is stable here. Everything is working again. No problems here. Uh, okay, we're not here at this moment. We are not on our flight level. So check it out here so we goes up here to the 35,000 feet again yes that works looks pretty nice no faults here everything is working everything is okay now Uh, yeah. Yes, I fly with the Airbus officer set here. So, welcome again here everybody to this flight. What is this my friend? What do you do here for links in here my friend? Ah, that's from uh, the rocket simulation here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boom. <laughs> uh, boom, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what everything out there, what you can, what you can buy here, it's uh, Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Uh, was meinst du? Meinst du den Trust Lever? Die Schub, die Schubeinheit? Und meinst du jetzt bei, bei uh, X-Plane oder bei Microsoft? Ilya, that's a question. Explain on Microsoft and uh, the trust level, I think so. Huh? So, and the question is, what is the question? By FS 2020, okay? So I must answer here the German guy, so wait a moment. Ja, da gab es beim letzten Update, gab es da eine Änderung und äh, seitdem musst du, am besten lädst du dir erstmal die Standardwerte wieder ein, aber ich kann dir das auch mal zeigen, wie ich äh, es stehen habe. Mach mal einen Screenshot und äh, stell das ein nachher bei mir auf der Facebook-Seite, ja? No problem. Alkohol. Ich 
viel geht ja leider eh nicht. Yes, <lacht> that's a problem here to, at this moment with the Sylvester party. Yes, yes, no party, no party is there, nothing. So we have no party. I'm sorry. So we will drink. We will drink some uh, beer or vodka or something else like this tomorrow. Together, that could be. That could be. Everything is possible. I don't know. Äh, ja, Mike, ich habe die, ich habe jetzt die Beta-Version geladen. Das ist dann jetzt 11.5.1 äh, Release-Kandidat Nummer 1. Das ist die Beta-Version. Habe ich ja gestern schon gesagt, das ist Beta-Version. Und äh, habe ich geladen. Ich finde ein deutlicher Performance-Schub nach vorne, was die Frames angeht hier. Und mal gucken, bis jetzt äh, läuft es stabil. Ja? So, at this moment everything runs stable here. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. So welcome everybody again here to this nice flight, enjoy, so what we have uh, to go, 316 miles here now to our destination, so we can also have a look here on uh, the program page report, so we will see the top of descent, we will arrive at 1251. So that will be in round about 25 minutes. Huh? 25 minutes we have uh, arrived here at the top of this hand. Do 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 do. So nice question, real captain in life. It's a nice question that I don't will answer this one. So uh, there is a fifty percent chance for, for this. Yes, a fifty percent chance there is. But enjoy the flight here, my friend. Enjoy the flight and have fun. 
So here you can see we have no auto parts here. Uh, this place is here that it will be standard X plane 11, so that looks not really nice. So it is, yes, uh, but it flies absolutely fantastic, yes. It is a really, really nice and good flight simulator. Not the landscape simulation, but a really nice flight simulator. Absolutely. And with auto parts, it looks not so bad like this one here. So, but uh, in front of them, I, I have installed here my Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have deleted all my auto parts. <laughs> Bonjour de France. Welcome from de France, my, my friend. Enjoy the flight here. So, let's have a look here. Questions, my friends, questions. Round about the Airbus here. Round about X-Plane, round about Microsoft Flight Simulator, round about VR headset, round about I don't know what. Then please write your questions here inside the comments. I will answer your questions if I can. And uh, it will be, all the time it will be the same here with Captain Rodolfo. It can be a good answer, it can be a bad one, it can be a funny one, or it can be also no answer. Everything is possible here, yes? <laughs> also it can be the right answer or the bad one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So what I like to say before, I don't know, there was something what I like to say about it, what it was, uh, what it was, I'm not sure. So I think it was for, for VR headsets here, so I think it was for the VR headsets, so why I have said we must change uh, the settings also from the normal PC view here. So. But that's not happen. You don't need it. You don't need to change uh, the tet the settings from the normal uh, from the normal PC settings that have no not an effect, absolute nothing. So I have uh, do this before. So why also I have uh, read it or see it on a, on a YouTube channel or something else like this. So but it has not an effect, nothing nothing for the VR, it has no effect. You don't must do this. So, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. So, questions, questions, my friends. Someone, somebody has questions or not. So back inside the cockpit here. So I have opened the door here so we can have a look here inside the cabin here. And uh, the engine sound is uh, louder when you have opened the door here. So when I close it, ah, you hear? The engine sound 
it's not so loud. So I open the door again. More engine sound. I close it. <laughs> so, okay, now I have closed the door again and uh, everything is okay. You can buy this uniform. I don't know. Call Lufthansa. Yes? I don't know. Call Lufthansa, my friend. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Mike. Keine Ahnung. <laughs> it not only look like so, yes? It is a real one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think my coffee is cold now. I think and now I have a cold cold cup of coffee. So let's uh that's why why I see I see a pilot there, a real pilot. I see a real pilot there on the parking area from the airport and uh, I have killed him. And I have get his clouds then. <laughs> yes, I can. That's not the problem. We can do this. So you get you get this information here from the airport charts. You need the airport charts from the runway where you like to go down here. So so here, these are the airport charts for ILS landing on the runway 04 left. So that's our runway where we like go down here. So that's our flight plan. Here we are at this moment. So we will turn uh, left next time and then we will come down here on the star and arrive here at the runway 04 left. Yes? And now <laughs> so, okay, here you can see, hier kannst du sehen, hier bekommst du deine Informationen. Ja, die Frage ist, äh, was ist es für eine, für eine Landung, äh, was ILS-Landung, normale ILS-Landung, mehr ist hier in Shamel Shake nicht drin. Da gibt es auch differenziert für Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3. Ja. Wir sind in der Regel mit unserem Airbus hier eine Klasse C-Landung. Das heißt, was hier fett geschrieben ist, das ist äh, per, per äh, Luftdruck gemessen, per Baro, also MDH und äh, in Klammern hier, das ist DH per Radar gemessen. Also das hier ist die Höhe vom, äh, gemessen vom Runway, vom Runway 274 Fuß nach oben und das hier ist die Höhe vom Meeresspiegel. Ja? Wenn wir also jetzt die Meeresspiegelhöhe abziehen von dem hier, ja, kommt da irgendwas mit äh, 4 am Ende hinten raus. So, sehen wir, 134 Fuß ist die Runway-Höhe. Ne? Wenn wir jetzt die 134 nehmen und zählen da 285, äh, sorry, hier, 284, äh, 74 dazu, kommen wir auf 408 Fuß. Also es ist die gleiche, die gleiche Höhe, nur anders gemessen. Das eine vom Sea Level, das andere vom Runway Level. Das ist per Radar. And this is per Air Pressure. So, that's the different. So, also, du brauchst Airport Charts. Ohne Airport Charts kann man sowieso nicht fliegen. Ja? Without Airport Charts, you don't can fly. Envoy 
Convoy 4198, hold lock 78 on the nose for sequencing. We're doing 78 on Convoy 41. So the 2790, how's your ride now? I just turned the seatbelt sign off. Move. So the 2790, Roger, contact center on 124.37. 2437. So, in front of the runway, we need 2,200 feet. So, put it in. Top of descent will become there. So, let's request the descent wind now. So, put here on the init page, on the wind page, next page, uh, next page, descent wind. Okay, we must wait a little bit for a descent wind, but later we can request here the descent wind. So, but now let's put in some information here for our descent. So I get uh, the lat, 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 latest, latest information now again. So QNH is 1013, 1013. Put in there. Temperature is uh, 25 degrees. 25 degrees in Sham, really nice. And wind comes from 040 with 8 knots. 040 with 8 knots wind. Put it in also. So the minimum was uh, 408. Put it in by Baro. Radio is the other one. And transition altitude level in Sharma Shake. Is uh, 9,500 feet. Also, that you can uh, get here from the airport charts. Here. So here in top transition altitude level here, 9,500 feet. You can see it. So, perfect, perfect. So, here we go. Kein Problem. Gerne, kein Problem. One tango kilo climb to level 350. Climb to climb level 350, one tango. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, in a little bit shorter, kleiner, slow, slow, not slow, kleiner, kleiner, kleiner. So, back inside the cockpit here. Welcome back to Captain Rudolfo inside the cockpit, the A321 from Tolis. 
So at this moment here we are on this place. So we come here uh, down, I think, to Hogada, and then we go left side to Sham El Sheikh. So, but I'm not sure we goes over Hogada here. I uh, have, but it could be. Oh no, not really. So we goes directly here to Sham and uh, comes down there. So around about 40 miles here to go to the top of descent. So the small, this that comes later down more uh, more as one yes you can see at this this position here my friend so here you can see flaps one comes out by 238 knots and exactly at this position you will get these both lines here the yellow lines here on the left side the gelben kleinen striche ja by flap 1 by flap 2 und bei Flap 3 und bei Flap Full, da kommen die überall in der Anzeige hier links. Das ist also einfach eine Anzeige, eine optische Anzeige für, wann du die Flaps rausfährst. Da sagt ja auch immer der Co-Pilot oder wer, wenn du sagst Flaps 1, dann sagt er Speed Check. So, Speed Check. Heißt, er guckt nach, bist du da schon an den gelben Strichen oder bist du zu schnell, bist du noch drüber. Da checkt er das kurz, ob du die richtige Geschwindigkeit hast und dann äh, fährt er die Flaps raus. So, in a page now, go to the wind, next fast, cruise wind, next fast, descent wind, but there's no descent wind. So at this moment we don't can request here the wind at this moment. So okay, when it not works, then it not works. So when we don't can request the wind here in Sham, then we don't can request. So normally it works in front of uh, the descent. But not today here, it's not working. So it could be Shama Shake is not working with this. I think so. So, four miles here for the top of this end now. Oh no, it has changed here, why the wind? So the wind has changed and also the distance here for the top of this end has changed now. You, can, you have seen it? I think so, you have seen it. So before it was only uh, six miles or so and then it comes up here a little bit forward here. So the wind has changed, that was the problem here. So, approach checklist. Normally, now. So, briefing. Confirm. ICAM status is uh, checked. Seatbelts on. Baroref. Uh, Baroref is one zero. Baroref is uh, set. Yes. Uh, MDR DA set both. Engine mode selector is normal. So approach checklist is uh, complete. 
so and we goes in the descent now here push the button and the descent let's go American 1477 direct flight on course direct flight American 1477 uh now it's too late but there is a white arrow ne? ein weißer weißer pfeil nach unten wird hier angezeigt im radar display da ist der top of descent genauso kriegst du hier oben im primary flight display dann die anzeige dass du in den descent gehen sollst und auch so hat es hier gestanden jetzt nicht mehr top of descent distanz und äh, wann du den erreichst hat hier auch gestanden Uhrzeit und äh, Distanz zum Top of Descent kann man hier auch ablesen. Sehr gerne, no problem. So, we was a little bit too late here with the descent. So, you can see it here as this arrow here. So, now the arrow is gone. So, now everything is okay. We back here on the glide path down so it works it works so we have to look here on the speed so now we are really high on on the maximum here more or less uh, so we can put out the speed brakes a little bit so that the speed here comes down so but you can see the speed comes up again so more speed brakes. So half speed brakes now. Mm. Well, I can see the green dot is uh, gone. So too fast also again. So oh stop speed brakes out full now. Come on. Full out the speed brakes now. Let's check it out. So we was a little bit uh, late here with the top of descent, too much talking. Yes. So here you can see the green dot is comes up here now. So and when we have arrival here, the green dot, the vertical speed will comes up. So and we can retract it also the speed brakes down. So speed brakes retracted now. So we have a green dot arrival. So that's our Light slope here, management approach, everything is working. No problem. <laughs> so we comes down here to Sham okay, Shake here, my friends. So here we have the map. It comes down here directly to Sham. Turn left and then and approach on the runway zero four left. So and on the right side here behind there, so where where we turn left here, on the right side in the sea, there is an absolutely nice dive spot there. It's the MS Sisselgorm. The MS Sisselgorm is there. It's absolutely nice knife dive spot. Nice dive spot there. A really nice wreck. The MS Sisselgorm. So it's a really perfect for man, yes? So moon there and uh, everything else. So look at the Google. Look at the Google, there is absolutely nice, there are vans inside and motorcycles, really nice wreck. So, okay, at this moment, everything will be stable here with the beta version here at this, this point. <lacht> Transatlantikflug mit dem A320. 
Not really, ha? Huh? Not really mit dem A320. So, everything looks pretty, pretty nice here. No problems. We on the glide part. Everything is working. And we comes down here to Shamal Sheikh, Egypt. So I think with the uh, beta version, the release one, it works more stable and uh, also the frames are much better now here. So I have around about 80 frames per second now and uh, I use absolutely high settings here. Not bad. So, I, I don't know if it works here on, uh, but normally you can see it on the program page here. But I think it's not really working. No? And here on the report page, everything looks perfect. No problems. I think it's not working here. That's not working. So, and also it's not working on a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, really. That is not working 100%. <laughs> Project 008, contact 12467. Good day. So, what normally it's on the program, but uh, it's not working here. So, but you can see it here on the primary flight display, yes? When the green dot is in the middle, then everything is okay, no problems here. When the green dot is in the middle, then it works. You're on the right way. <laughs> So next time here we will pass uh, 10,000 feet, but the transition altitude level was uh, 9,500 here. At 9,500 we have to switch here the Baro to 1013. So IRS frequency will be 109.5. It's in perfect. That looks pretty nice. No problems here. Waking. So next step we turn right and then here left again and an approach here on the runway zero four uh, left. Coming up to three six. 
We will be close here. But it's okay, it's green. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, we turn right. Okay, I can switch it off. Let's turn right now. So that's a management approach here. Everything is working perfect. No problems at this time. Manage approach is working nice. So, but also this one is not working at the Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'm sorry for this. So there are so many things what is not working on a Microsoft Flight Simulator. But it's a really nice landscape simulation. <laughs> Zusatz add on für die Grafik? Nö, ich glaube nicht. Nö, das ist glaube ich der Standard. Oder habe ich wieder FSD Global? Habe ich FSD Global drin? Kann sein, dass FSD Global drin ist. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, I think not. So, SFD Global. S FSD Global is doing SFD Global. So it makes it a little bit better. And also, I think so, I have one for more BX there. For the ground. It also makes it a little bit better here. So, 11,000 feet, you can see here at... Uh, the waypoint, 11,000 feet, absolutely perfect. Everything is working, pretty nice, no problems. So we will pass the 10,000 feet here next time when we have arrival this waypoint. I think after the waypoint here, we comes down slowly. Yes, also the speed comes down. Perfect. Everything is management working here. No problem. So now the first the speed comes down to around about 250 knots so that we can go under the flight level 100. So here you can see the next is 4000 feet there. So now we must have a look here on uh, the speed and so that everything will be working so we must use a little bit the speed brakes could be so check it out so when we goes down now so now not so can hear the engines comes up speed brakes retracted first so but when we're too fast now so now we go into descent here and the speed comes up so we must use again here the speed brakes now. So speed brakes out. So on the green dot speed. Yes, we're on the green dot here now. Looks pretty nice. So a little bit too fast now. A little bit more speed brakes again. The speed comes down here. And we also comes down. So green dot is there. Looks not so bad. So look at the speed. Green dot is in the middle. Perfect. No problems. So every so everything now is working with the speed brake here. Only do something with the speed brake now. So now we have a transition altitude level. So switch to the Baro 1013, so everything is okay. We are under 10,000 feet also. Switch on the lights. 
co-pilot is sleeping here. So also switch on the ILS system. So let the speed brakes out. So it will be blinking a little bit. So let's go a little bit back here with the speed brakes. So also we can do it back completely first. But have a look on the speed on the green dot all the time. All the time have a look here. When it not works and the speed comes up too much and the green dot will be gone. You have to use the speed brake again. So we're on the top limit here now from the speed. So now we're too fast. Now here you can see uh, it comes up that, and the dot is going down. That's not really nice. So put the speed brakes out again. So the dot is gone. The green dot here is gone. So speed brakes must out. And quick, oh sorry, more speed brakes. So green dot comes back, perfect. So we can switch on the localizer now. So now we're under the glide slope, oh, that's perfect. So the airport is behind there. So we turn left now. And I think so at this moment we will get also the ILS signal there. So now we are under the glide slope, everything is okay, speed brake retracted, speed looks pretty nice also, no problems here. Localizer is captured. So the border and the star behind the localizer is captured. So at this moment we switch on now the approach button. But in front to switch on the approach button have a look that you are under the glide slope. Yes, under the other diamond here. So the diamond is on top so everything is okay. So we can switch on now the approach button and everything will be working. So localizer is captured, the glide slope is blue, so we wait for capture the glide slope next time. So the airport is behind uh, there. So we will start to configuration the aircraft now, flaps one out. Speed check, flap one, let's go. So let's check uh, the approach phase will be started. Yes, approach phase is started. Everything okay. Everything is working. Flaps one is out. Looks pretty nice. 2500. Check. Two thousand. So weight comes from the side here with eight knots now. Okay, get down. Center. Good afternoon. This is Gulf Street, November six one six Romeo Kilo, level flight level four zero zero. Lights on. Auto brake goes low. Uh, speed brake is retracted and and speed check flaps too so we're in front really nice here from zero four left that looks pretty nice no problems here everything is working the glide slope is captured now also the border 
Turn it off, Mike. Papa Oscar, 220, turn around. The border is there. Perfect. It's green now. Before it was blue. So now the localizer is green. The glide slope is green. And speed check. Flap 3 out. Check the cabin. Cabin crew, seats for landing. Flaps full out. Perfect. And approach. So and now we will do manual approach here next time. So but also we can do a completely ILS landing here when we like to do this. Thanks for the stars. Perfect. So okay, we can do also a complete ILS landing, but normally I don't like to do an ILS landing. We do it by yourself now. So okay, autopilot one is going off. Manual approach now. Speed is managed. Too white, too red. Perfect. Looks nice. Bruce 1624 heavy. Climb to flight level 230. So, too white, too red. Perfect. That works. We comes down. So, that's a completely different steering when you fly here with the Microsoft. It's completely stupid. <laughs> This one here is really close, really close here to the real world. Yeah. So now headwind more or less seven knots. Perfect. Twenty-four contact center. One two seven zero seven. One two seven zero seven. Moving speed twenty-four. Where is green? Spoilers. And Air Canada twelve fifty-eight contact. Seventy knots manual break. Where's my mouse? There. So now let's left out here. And we can have a look on the approach a little bit later when we have arrival here at the gate. So turn left. Yes, we are. Very good. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that's when you have no co pilot and you must do everything by yourself. <laughs> then you have problems. So I be with starting. So radar off. Off. So okay, now it's working here. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's have a look here for a nice gate here. Delta fourteen fifty nine. Roger, no reports this morning. Should be pretty smooth as you get up there. You're now clear to one six thousand. Up to one six thousand. Delta fourteen fifty nine. Just to let you know, we had a uh, little bit of uh, light rhyme in the clouds and minus fourteen on the pin. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Air Shuttle 6156 at flight 
So no gates here or what? Only stand could be, huh? Okay. Uh, let me use a stand here. Okay, we'll use this one. Delta 1459, climb to flight level 230. To flight level 230, Delta 1469. So, parking brake. Set. Have you bleed on? Both engines off. Few bumps off, seatbelt size off, beacon light off, park position. Welcome everybody to Shamel Shake and have a nice holiday here. <laughs> so, So let's check it now. Uh, the, the, the approach. So that's nice one that it will be working here on X plane. Uh, check out here, nice position. So, or we have a tower here. I don't know. It looks not like a tower position here, huh? Uh, this one not. Okay, I think we use we use this position here okay let's go and here we comes down Thanks, 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 thanks. So here we comes in. And approach. Nice in, perfect. Charlie and your Bravo for higher contact center one two seven one two. 
So perfect! Yeah, we finished! Really nice! Everything okay? Approach nice, landing nice, everything okay? No problems. So E and T C. So I must have a look when I do this and uh, check this. Uh, I must have a look. So not that this uh, video here, not that this live one here. So it was for for different other one here. So this was a special here today for hydraulic systems and something like this, how it works. So, okay, we are ready now here. We are on our final destination here, Sham El Sheikh. Everything is working, no problems. So I hope you have learned a little bit from the hydraulic system, from an Airbus. And uh, also I hope you have uh, Substribble here to my YouTube channel. Also ein Abo da lassen und das Glöckchen drücken, dann bekommt man auch eine Nachricht, wann ich hier wieder live bin. So, okay. I said uh, many thanks for watching, my friends. We see as soon as possible by the next flight. Your captain Rudolfo. And later, I think so, in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator again. We will have a look. See you as soon as possible. Stay safe, your captain. Bye bye.